Black holes. To understand how a black hole might be formed, you must have an understanding of the life cycle of the star. A star is formed when a large amount of gas starts to collapse on, on itself due to its gravitational attraction. As it contracts, the atoms of the gas collide with each other more and more frequently, and at a greater and greater speeds, the gas heats up. Eventually, the gas will be so hot that the hydrogen atoms collide. They no longer bounce off each other, but instead, coalesce to form helium. Coalesce means to come together and form one mass. The heat released in this reaction, which is like a controlled hydrogen bomb explosion, is what makes the star shine. Eventually, the star will run out of its hydrogen and other nuclear fuels. It's because the more massive the star is, the harder it is, the faster it will use up its fuel. As the star contracts, the gravitational field at the surface gets stronger and the light comes get bent inward more. This makes it more difficult for the light from the star to escape and the light appears dimmer and redder to an observer at a distance. When the star has shrunk to a certain critical radius, the gravitational field at the surface becomes so strong that the light comes are bent inward so much the light can no longer escape and that is what a black hole is. He also researched what might happen in a black hole saying, the boundary of the region of space time from which it is not possible to escape, acts rather like one-way membrane around the black hole objects such as unworthy, unworry astronauts can fall through the event horizon into the black hole, but nothing can ever get out of the black hole through the event horizon. Remember that the event horizon is a path in by a space-time of light that is trying to escape from the black hole. Nothing can travel faster than light. One could well say of the event horizon what poet Dante said of the entrance to hell. All hope abandoned, ye who enter here. Anything and anyone who falls through the event horizon will soon reach the region of infinite density and the end of time.